What's well, good, everybody? It's your boy Lou. Tapping in. Just want to talk to y'all today. Starting my new episode, my new uh, show today. Uh, basically, it's not really a show, but I mean, you can call it what you want to call it. Um, I just want to talk to everybody about. I want to show everybody like the steps of getting in, like getting into the military, because we talked where you know videos you watch and stuff. It shows a lot of people like already in the military and the army or you know air force whatever it doesn't show exactly how they got in um the process and i know when i'm doing my research because i still do my research to this day you know they don't really show um like the process and i'm not gonna like show you the process but i'm gonna tell you the process if you get what i'm saying so that you can better understand what's going on so let me tell y'all like since i walked when i first walked in there Oh, and just for everybody understanding, I'm on the, I'm in the process of, you know, going to the military. Like it's pretty much set that I'm going, but you understand here in a second. So, getting into the military is real chill. It's not hard. You know, they they want you to go. You know, they're not. They don't shoot shun you away. Um, you have to first. You have to go to your recruiter. When you talk to a recruiter in your local area, you know. Um, they're doing a job, so, you know, they're going to try to get you in certain things they want to, they feel that you, they want to get you in, you know, just like any other job, like, if you've been living long enough, you understand, like, for instance, like, I used to work at a bank or whatever, or I used to work, whatever you want to say, they'll come in, they'll come in saying that they want a checking account, and off the rip, I'll try to influence them to, well, maybe you should open it up this type of account or this type of account. So, I mean, that's sort of what they do. Um, you got some that's harder than others trying to get you to combat, combat, combat. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to do combat, you don't have to do it. Um, then you got some um, that's more, it's a little bit easier with you. Like they're trying to figure out what you really want and what you're going for. Um, that's how mine was. I'm not going to say his name because um, I don't know if I should or not, but my my uh, recruiter, he's real cool. He understands where I'm coming from. He understands what I want because we've talked and stuff. So, but anyways, you go inside the um, recruiting office. You talk to them. You let them know what you want. Um, you tell them, hey, I want to, you know, I'm going to military for this that reason. I want this is my job. They say, okay, great, but it doesn't matter until you take your ASVAB test. Um, you take your ASVAB. You have to score a certain percentage. I think the lowest score. I can't remember what the lowest score is, but you, you know, you're scoring from this range to this range and you want to, um, you know, depending on your scores determines what job you'll get. Right. So you get just, you do your tests, you know, all that great stuff. Um, you can do it in the recruiting office or you can do it at MEPS. That's something it's hot y'all. That's something that I did not know the first time that you can actually get it done. Um, at MEPS, if you want to, Sorry, y'all. If you want to get it done at MEPS, you can get it done at MEPS. Um, what is MEPS? So we'll get to that in a second. But anyways, you go do your thing. I look like Garner High is about to graduate again today. I'm sorry, y'all. I get distracted so easy. Um, but you go, you go to, um, you go to your recruiting office. You take it. You can take it there. or You can take it at MEPS. Either way, you take your, um, you take your test. You get your scores. Once you get your scores, now it's like, okay, they can actually range you now from, like, what jobs you can get to what jobs you cannot get. Um, you know, they let you know what you can do, what you can't do. Um, you basically find out what you can do, and then you pick from there. Um, you know, now, after that, let's say you did it at the recruiter's office. You took your test at the recruiter's office. I did that, right? So I'm going to tell you what happened to me. Took my test. I scored what I scored. Uh, I scored a 45 on my ASVAB. I don't really know if that's good or bad, to be honest. Like, to me, 45 just sounds bad. But, I mean, I don't really under, I didn't really understand the score requirements. But either way, I found a good job regardless. Um, 25 uniform, which is a signal support system specialist. You get, you know, top clearance and all this other stuff. It's real cool. So, I'm like, all right, cool. I can also go airborne. Airborne meaning to jump out of a plane and you're just recognized as, you know, basically uh, he's a badass kind of thing. So, um it, it looks good on you you know it looks good on you um but anyways i went to meps now at meps you go to meps and you go through this whole process oh my god it's, it's all day 
you go through, you got to go through medical, you got to go through paperwork, you got to go through getting shots, you got to go through, what else, getting shots, oh God, you got to get naked in a room with a bunch of guys, not butt naked, but like to your, to your drawers, and you got to do, um, like physical things to show that you can physically do certain things. The room smells so bad because it's got, you know, it's just, it's a bunch of guys in one room. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> so you go in the room, it's a bunch of people in the room. You got to do it. Some people didn't pass. It's crazy how you don't really, like some of these tests really, really do expose people because some of the tests was like, um, like, duck walks and stuff and some even if some of the fittest guys in there couldn't do it because apparently like that exposes your spine or something i don't know um it shows like deficiencies in your spine or something like that i don't know it's stuff i you know i've done like i've done certain things before because i play sports but certain things i was like wow i didn't know that really exposes people but either way Oh, wow. I'm sorry, y'all. They're doing a lot over here. Like, I guess they're about to have a graduation or something. But either way, um, yeah, so after MEPS, after you do MEPS, went all the way through it, all the way. I went, 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 went. And then at the very, very end of it all, at the very end of it all, I ended up not being able to go at the first time because I was 1% off. Now, how the military work, I don't know how long the military been doing this, but now they, or I guess they might have been doing it, but they go off of like your BMI or whatever, so it's off a of percentage. So I was 27%, and I think you gotta be 26%, I think. Like, um, you gotta be in a certain percentile based off of your age and weight, I'll say that. Uh, age and height, age and height. So your weight got to be between the age and height, but the inches on my waist is what messed me up. Like, and I'm not even a fat guy, but I'm, but I'm thick, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, it just, I guess my body doesn't match how it's supposed to. I don't know. Anyways. So right now, that's where I stand right now. Um, since then, that was back in December though. Like now it is June, June 9th, I think it is June 8th, June 9th, today's June 9th. And, um, you know, I'm back at it again. I went and talked to my recruiter. He let me know, um, you know, I plan, I'm supposed to be leaving around like August or September, somewhere in that area. Um, and now I'm on a regimen. I put myself, the military didn't put me on this. I put myself, let me make that clear. I'm on a regimen. Where, you know, I only drink water. I've been eating real healthy. Like this morning, I woke up at like 6 this morning. I've been waking up earlier because if you sleep a long time, that also has to do with like your weight and stuff too. Like you can't be sleeping all day. That's that's not good. I got this. Um, I've been eating this this morning, you know. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like one of those Nature Valley sweet and salty peanut. You know, I'm almost done eating it. But, um... Yeah, I'm going through the whole process, eating better, drinking health, you know, drink. I'm not drinking no more beer. I'm not drinking no more liquor. I'm lying. I did have a shot, but a shot is not going to hurt me. Like, I had a shot the other day, like two days ago, but a shot won't hurt you. Like, I had a shot. I'm not out here just drinking no more. I'm not drinking beer no more. I'm drinking um, just pure water. Like, I don't drink Kool-Aid. I don't drink energy drinks. I don't drink Gatorade. I don't drink none of that. I drink. I drink water, only water, only water. So at the end of the day, you know, you got to like, you definitely got to do better with your body. If you're trying to lose weight, like I'm on a workout routine, I'm eating better, I'm drinking better and I'm feeling better. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm sorry, I keep on pausing because there's so much going on. But at the end of the day, you know, um, you got to do better with your body um, if you're trying to lose weight. But yeah, so this is my process. I want people to keep up with me as I go through it. Um, as people, well, a lot of you won't know, um, but friends, family know, you know, in my area. But since I'm going to be posting this, a lot of people look up military stuff, so it may go 
might get a lot of uh, views and stuff. I want y'all to know. Like, so I have a family. I have a fiance. I'll be getting married in August. August first is when I'm getting married. Woo 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 woo. Get married August first, and just had a baby. Uh, yeah, Brayden. He is two. Well, he's going on two months. He's going on two months old. So you know, I got a lot of things. I'm 23. You know, a lot of people going at 18, 19. I'm going in at 23. Oh, but I'm also going in with education. That's one last thing I want to say. Um, I am going in with a degree. Well, yeah, with my associate's degree. So with an associate's degree, I'll be able to go in as an E3. I won't be going in as an E1. So for beginners, there's E1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it goes through 7, E through 7. So I'm going as an E3 because I have some college. But if you go in like, if you get like a bachelor's degree, I believe you're going in as an, as an officer. So that's something to think about too. Like if you like, hmm, you know, I'm coming out of high school, but I don't want to jump right in it right away. Go get your four year bachelor's degree. Then you can go, you'll go in like way ranking way higher, making way more money than a lot of people going in. So that's why I'm glad I'm going in now with my degree because I'm not going in as an E1 with all the uh, young guys. Cause all the young guys going in as an E1. I don't want to go in as an E1. No, I don't want, not if I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got different reasons for going to the military. I got a family I want to support the right way, you know? Um, so, you know, that's my thing, but excuse me, but, um, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. I just want y'all to keep up, you know, with my process. This is basically for everybody to keep up with my process, uh, of getting into the military. I'm gonna let y'all see as much as you can possibly, um, today I'm going to get a weight, uh, a weigh scale for my house. Cause I don't have one for my house. I need a waist. I need a weigh scale for my house. So, um, if you definitely can just stay in touch, watch the process, you'll see the process as I lose or gain. Um, y'all, will, y'all will definitely see that. So I'm probably gonna make another video today too. I only want to post once a day, but I am going to post once a day, but today's going to be two or, you know, I might do one. We'll see. This might be the only one for today, but tomorrow is probably going to be my weight. And I'll let that be it for what I'm going to say right now. And I'm going to just let tomorrow talk about the weight. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if you have, you know, any comments, concerns, follow my page, like, and subscribe. Um, try to stay tuned with as much as you can. If you have any questions about the military, if I don't know, I do my best to get, get the answer and, um, get back to you. Um, if you want me to make any videos about anything concerning the military, like certain things, let me know, um, any questions that you may have, like, cause I'm still talking to my recruiter on a daily basis. So any questions you may have, I can ask him anything that, you know, if you want to go to the military, but you don't know where to start, let me know if you, you know, if you need anything, let me know. Cause I have a recruiter right on my side every time. Like I go see him like every two weeks. So, or sooner than that, really, if I want to, I can go see him anytime I want to. So y'all have a good one and boom.